everyone, and welcome to Toy Break episode 366. I'm Aileen. I'm George. And I'm still Batman. Or are you Batman? Batman. Can you understand me with this voice? Yes. Good. Yes, Batman. Good, good. <laughs> Let's talk about what Toy Break is about. It's a good question. What is Toy Break? <laughs> 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 you just can't even do it. Can't even do it. <laughs> I broke Batman, everyone. Oh, oh it's ben. ben. Oh, hey, everybody. When did you get? Where'd Batman go? I, he just went that way. <laughs> Weird. I didn't even see it. Because I was about to tell these fine folks that Toy Break is their weekly internet show featuring news and reviews all about the wonderful world of toys, including but never limited to designer vinyl, plush, collectibles, action figures, whatever we can bring you in that wonderful world. That's what we try to do. Let's start, as we always do, by thanking our site sponsors, such as Suburban Vinyl, DKE Toys, Three Coconut Monkey, Modern Brick Warfare, 3D Retro. Whoa. Are they <laughs> and, related to Three Doctor Retro? No. <laughs> and Tomonosuke. Awesome. Thank you so much to our site sponsors. And also, huge thanks for some donations that we have received. Whoa. So let us thank Stephen from New Hampshire, Edgar from California, Taylor from Parts Unknown, Jay from Idaho, Richard from the UK, Joseph from North Dakota, Thomas from New Mexico, Emil from California, Ken from Oregon, Shannon from Oklahoma, Jillian from Canada, Trevor from Canada, Bethany from Florida, James from Texas, Squire from Kentucky, James from uh, Louisiana, and Gary from Georgia. Whew, thank wow. you so much, everyone. That's awesome. Guys rock. Have we covered the entire U U.S. yet? No, we still have those two states. I'd have to double check on exactly which. It's like, was is it, it South Dakota? Might be South Dakota, and there's one in the east, up northeast. The northeast area. Like Vermont or something. No, it wasn't Vermont. Get busy, whoever you are. Let do it. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. You can help. <laughs> All right, what's going on? So we we finished the Comic Con crap up. Yes. Whew. Whew. We've three, had a chance to sleep. We were actually three weeks on the couch here. Yeah. Started we, to stink. We didn't move. It's, <laughs> it's true. With Scott and Luke, and it was just it was a three. smelly it was nightmare. Awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. Nightmare. Awesome. But I love how we ha each had a few crossover products with each other. True. And then. You know, bags of other stuff that the other people, you know, everybody else didn't get. So, so much so stuff cool that see. even some people left a bag at home and forgot to bring it to the show. But the great thing is there's more shows that they can bring it on. Aha. If we know where that someone's bag is. I know now. Excellent. I mean, they know now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever they may be. Whoever they may be. Uh, so the Comic Con wrap up's over. What does that mean, George? That means it's time for a new contest. Dun 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 dun. I think is what you're trying to get at. It is. So this week we're going to do, a, it's going to be a simple one. It's going to end. It's going to end um, August 1st. I'm sorry. September 1st. September 1st. September 1st. Or 2nd. September 2nd? Let's make September 2nd. September 2nd. It's, it's going to end September 2nd. Mm. And what we're going to do is very simple. OMFG Series 4. You'll get a flesh and a black. Ooh. Boom. Nice. Um, it's an easy contest. All you got to do is head over to the October Toys Toy Break Forum. Go to the contest section. And just tell us which is your favorite OMFG character so far. So easy. Out of all the from series. From all is series, is 1 through 4, yes. from the OTMFG, any of them, all of them. Any of the minifigs we make. Any of the minifigures that we made. Tell us which one's your favorite. And that's it. You're entered into the contest. And Done. it's going to be a picking out of the Sarah Joe's box. Whoa. And that's how we get the winner. Alrighty then. <laughs> so you get the flesh regular set and the Kickstarter exclusive black. So if yes. you miss the black on Kickstarter, this is a great way to possibly uh, jump in on that set. Could be the only way. It could be the only way, but who mm. knows? Time will tell. Time will. Should we get on to just a tiny bit of news? Let's do that. So actually, I, I mean, I don't have a ton. I just kind of want to talk about the wrap up and all that stuff. And I know Ben, 3D Retro, had released the uh, Nick Cave figures recently, which was kind of a big deal. 
So they go were, to 3dretro.com and you could pick those up. No, you can't. What? <laughs> but you just released them. We released them and we sent out a newsletter saying, hey, this is when we're going to release them at this time. And uh, uh, it crashed the site. <laughs> and uh, the site luckily came up like 10 minutes later. And uh, we sold out in like three hours. That's amazing. That's awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So it was great. And I hope that all the Nick Cave figures got the figures. I, I the think Nikkei fans. fans. All got, the figures bought their figures? Yeah, all the figures bought their own little figures. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, hopefully the fans got the figures, and uh, hopefully a lot of people are happy with their Nikkei Plastic God toys. Have you checked eBay? Are they on there? You know, we checked eBay after San Diego Comic Con, and they were going for about um, $150 to $180 each. Wow. Retail, $40, mind you. Wow. I can't believe retail was only 40 on those. That's crazy. I bet Matthew Lillard, <clears throat> Lillard bought one of those. He did. He did indeed. <laughs> so that's awesome. Congratulations on the sellout. Um, do you Yay. and at the same time, was it, were, did you did the Juan figure come out? Yeah, the Juan Muniz figure is out. It's out right now. You can uh, still pick up. We still have. Because um, I know there weren't very many left out of those as well. Yeah, we sold out of Comic Con. Uh, so if you were lucky enough to get one at Comic Con and have Juan sign it, and we had a free print mm -hmm. available, and we actually sold out of the figures so fast before the signing that we decided that if anybody came to see Juan and couldn't even get a figure, we gave them the print anyway. That's cool. Nice. So since customer we, service. Yeah, since we had a hundred of them anyway, um, but we did put them up online. There's still a few available, but. Um, some of the allotment was sent over to Happy Panda Toys, and Vegas. yeah, and on the 14th, because Juan is a local artist to Vegas, they're doing a very special event, and um, those pieces will be sold there, and if you get one of the pieces there, you'll be invited to the private after party. Oh. And uh, there's yeah. like specialty drinks, and it's sponsored by Zappos, so they're giving away free stuff. Dang. And there's also awesome. another print that comes with the purchase. So if you're in Vegas and. You and is know, that a different colorway than the one that you did no, at Comic Con? It's the original one. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Cool. So that's going to be available. And on the side note, Juan also, when we produced the original one, we produced blanks for him. And the, only a handful of them. And he's starting to sell those as well. So follow him on Instagram or Facebook, and you can see what he's doing with those and possibly buy one if you're a fan of his art. Nice. Very cool. Love That's that. Good. you got a lot going on at 3D Retro. Yeah. That's good. Maybe this year we'll win a DTA. Aw. <laughs> so dejected. All right. Uh, we have something else to talk about real quick. Let's hear it. Voicemails. Ooh. Uh, we do have a voicemail to play. Okay. But before we play it... Uh, we had a couple other voicemails come in uh, during the Comic-Con crap-up time. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to make a note that we love voicemails. We love when you guys send in uh, questions or information or whatever you have. Uh, if it is something related to sending us uh, a toy for the show or sending us something to show off or, uh, you know, something more businessy related, please feel free to email us that information or just send it to the, our mailing address. It's on toybreak.com. You, there's no need to wait for us to call you back because we have crazy schedules and calling different time zones. Where would I find always, it on toybreak.com? Uh, right under the contact. Ah. Link. Okay. Contact. Contact. Exactly. Like the movie. So, just making it easier for you. <laughs> so thank you for everybody who's been sending in voicemails. But we do have one, and uh, the sound is not the regular sound is not up. So we're gonna do it this way. That's PO Box ready? 5290. Sherman Oaks, California, 91413. Wow, you memorized you. it. Are you ready? Hey, guys, it's more Toys. I got two questions for y'all. One, um, I didn't get to see the 24-hour tour break from last year, and I've been waiting for it to be on YouTube or one of these Internet websites and nothing. So what's the deal with that? And the second question is I'm watching an a old episode, and you guys – keep buying art and more art um do you guys frame and put up all your art or where do you what do you do with it that's all keep having fun love the show and uh all right you take it easy san diego yeah oh it sounded like you were doing an anchorman thing there. <laughs> so the question is first question is why hasn't aileen put up the 24-hour toy breaks well he, okay 
Let's address <laughs> let's address the questions in the order they were asked. If you're lies. talking about 2014, I'm pretty sure 2014 is up on the YouTube channel. You're YouTube talking about 2015. I think he might be talking about 2015. I have been working on it. The problem is. Oh, that was the year of problems. So 2014, oh. I just sort of straight uploaded it, and like, there's a lot of delay and like, like the the audio is not necessarily synced. And I've been trying to on the 2015, uh, in between all the regular editing and show planning, all the other things I do during the day, I'm trying to sync everything up so that it's actually makes sense when you watch it. There's not like a I ten second delay. What exactly. you're saying. Exactly. So I've been trying to get through that, but 24 hours worth of footage is a lot of footage to get through. So I am trying to put that together. Um, I mean, do you guys care if it's all out of sync? I care if it's if it's that bad. Yeah. Who wants to watch it out of sync? Yeah, that's no fun. So mm. I'm trying. I'm trying to make that work. Mostly, I might leave a little bit of it out of sync just to get it up there. Also, we have one other issue with that I should mention. Mm. And you guys will probably not notice this as a problem, but one of the services that we've been using for, I don't even know how long, like... Since 2006. Six, no, no. Uh, maybe since, like, 2008. Mm -hmm. I think 2007. Uh, Blip.tv, which is where we used to upload all the episodes, yeah. they're shutting down. Oh, what? Very quickly, like, in a week or two. Oh. So... We switched over to putting things... Uh, we've been putting things on Blip still... But then we also put shows on YouTube. We started putting Toy Break episodes on YouTube starting at episode 150. Oh, wow. So, at some point in the next couple of weeks, I will be updating our YouTube channel with 150, like episode 1 through 150. Don't, don't wow. even watch of those. Let's just let those die no, into the ether. No, no you can't. Let's let those be a thing where, like, they, like if, you were, if you were here at the beginning... Well, you no. can still download them. them. No, like, you... You must keep history alive. We could make it so that, like, you, you can't watch it You have to buy a online. DVD or something, like... Ooh. <laughs> 150 DVDs. Well, they're still available via RSS, so you can download them in iTunes or whatever RSS reader you use, or you could actually just click the link and it will play online. Because we don't need those on YouTube. I guess we don't need them on YouTube, do we? Hundred, the first 150, like, we were really just starting out, just getting going. Hey. Hey. What are you talking about? <laughs> We were professionals from the beginning. I don't think so. Professional what? <laughs> professionals. This we're, is a... we're still not very good at this. <laughs> what are you talking and about? We're like 400 episodes in. We're in, in. HD. Only 366 episodes in. Are, we in, are we in 3D yet? You are. <laughs> Retro. That's right. <laughs> so, okay. So maybe we won't be putting those 150 on YouTube. Know. Okay. I don't know. Kind of. Kind of might be fun, you know. You're on YouTube one day in episode one. Maybe it's more fun if you just go to the site though, and you're like, "Oh, I found episode one on the site." If somebody mm. wants a specific episode up on YouTube, they should donate for it. No. Like if you want to send I'm in a donation. Keep track of that. That's that's. <laughs> you right, can don't. still access them all on toybreak.com. Don't worry about that. Anyway, um, art. 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 Yeah, art. Yes. Um. So you know, toys said we keep buying art. Yeah, we we like art. We keep buying toys too. We keep buying art toys, and therefore, therefore, we sometimes buy the art that is associated to that toy. What do we do with the art? Um, We don't frame all of it because Mm. that's crazy. Some things get framed. Some things get switched out of an old frame and updated. Um, I like to rotate some of my pieces. Six months every year, so just kind of. I have a hard time rotating. I don't do that. So. Yeah, and I overframe. So yes, yeah, because so I have like st- like stacks against the wall of framed art, and I'm like trying to rearrange. It's like Tetris. But what I've learned is like the the best thing to do, whether you're thinking about framing it or you just you know want to put it away in a safe place, is buy a portfolio book. Mm. And you can get these at any art store. Or uh, Amazon. Or Amazon by clicking on the toy break. Actually, you'll find the ones on Amazon are a lot better than the ones in the art stores. Really? Because the ones in the art stores are usually small. Ah. And you'll find ones that are 8 by 10 or 11 by 14. But what you really want to do is you want to get one that's like 24 by 36. Yeah. Because most of the time you're going to buy something that's bigger than 8 by 10 or bigger than 11 by 14. And Amazon has a great selection of those. 
So you're going to spend about maybe 30 to $50 on that book. It'll have maybe 10, 15 sheets, which are double-sided. Mm -hmm. And then you can buy more sheets. Oh. And just, just make sure you buy the book where it opens up and you can actually add more sheets. That's great. Yeah, I have a bunch for smaller things. I never really... I don't know. I should do that. I never really got big ones for like posters and stuff. Yeah, I had to. But it's really cool because then when somebody comes over and they're like, hey, I like Ewoks. You're like, oh, look at my Ewok stuff yeah. here. And they're like, oh, that's cool. I'm going to look through your book with you. And some of them have it's like, fun. you can zip it up to keep it closed so there's no dust that comes inside. It comes with a handle. There's there's really good ones. So that's what I would recommend. It's a good recommendation. George? I ball it up and throw it in the corner. Hmm. That works too. Yeah, we're talking about the art. Oh, uh, no, I just, uh, I try not to buy any anymore. Any? What? I, I don't have room. There's no room. But what if you see a piece that you're like, oh, I love that piece. And what if you love it more than something old that you had? Nah, I don't have room. Impossible. You, you, I know you've bought pieces where you're like, that's really cool. I gotta have that. I did. I bought that little that little fleshy guy from Phoenix Comic Con, and I like for like I clipped it onto a curtain because there's literally no more room. <laughs> See? I'll find room. You'll find room. There you go. <laughs> or buy a portfolio book. All right. Well, we have several awesome reviews to get to, but first, let's dive into a little blind box time. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time. <laughs> What have we today, George? Because I have no idea what you picked. What do we have? I don't even know where these came from. Oh, ben? cool. Did Ben bring these? I think I, I think did. I think did bring these. I saw these. I can't a... believe we haven't opened these. These are Star Trek Skeletrex. Contains one painted figure. So it's Day of the Dead versions of Star Trek characters. And it actually, from the back, uh, it looks like it contains both a couple characters from the original series and a couple characters from Next Generation. Yeah, this is from a store on City Walk, so this is definitely you. Oh, yeah, I must have I'm I must have seen these. These are made by NECA. And oh, uh, and WizKids, look at that, yeah. And they were made in 2013, so they still might be out there. I'll take a Gorn. I want the Gorn. Calavaritas. 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 I will take uh, I'd go for a Captain Kirk. Okay. No Mr. Spock. I like Picard, so we'll go. Picard. 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 Let's do it. Oop. Oh, I like the one I got, though. Not a Gorn, but... <laughs> what did I get? Did you get Data? I think I got Data. Is it Data? Yep, that's Data. I got a Borg. Oh, wow. All right, Kirk. You got Kirk. Nice. Well, at least we all got different ones. Yeah, that's true. Uh... Surprisingly, really well sculpted. Smaller than I expected from the box. Yeah, Tiny definitely bit. smaller. Nice big stand. Just a little statue, no articulation. Yeah. Does it stand without the stand? Yeah. It stands just fine without the stand. Don't even need that. Yeah. But I have a feeling being on the stand <laughs> is part of the licensing, probably. Oh. Maybe? I don't know. I like Still Kirk's hair. It's funny. Yeah, I mean, if you like Star Trek and Day of the Dead... I, I have guess, to say, this is a weird a, mashup. What a weird license. I wonder how... Does it say... These were $5. Yeah, four ninety nine. So... I am little cutest, of course. What a weird thing, I am Data. Though. Why Like, why would you mix these I give these Data. Two? That's why they call me Data. Data, Data. It's an <laughs> odd license. <laughs> sure, why not? You can mash up anything. It looks like these would be made by the Beast Brothers. Beast Brothers. Beast Brothers toys. Look at that. All right. Good blind box time. <laughs> there it is. Good blind box time, everyone. If you can find them, buy them. I approve. All right, should we get on to reviews? Let's do this. All right, now I know a couple of the things you brought. Yes. But I might not know everything, so I have notes for some things. Okay. All is right. that something you want to start with? Let's start with... So Ben has an extravaganza going on. Ta-da! First thing is actually... It's a Ben extravaganza? For you, Aileen. Me? Yeah, I actually got this... Is it a Day of the Dead Batman? Uh, it's not, but close. It is a Batman. Ah! So I got ah! this actually right before Comic-Con, and um, I thought, wow, that's a, that's a really cool edition of the Batman. 
because it's made by Mike Mignola. Mike Mignola. Mick, Mick, Mike Mick, I can't pronounce his last Mignola. name. Mignola. I know that Mondo just released a figure made by him also of Hellboy in his style. But I thought, wow, these are this is really cool because it's like a Batman made in his style. And we've actually opened up other Batmans yeah, in this the, series. The Sergio Argonis. Yeah, that one was hilarious. The it, it's the black and white series. There's a lot of really cool ones. There's the um, the zombie Batman. Right. Which is super cool. So The Sergio one was so awesome. I'm sure there's people out there that collect every single one. I don't just for space and... And, but like it's nice it's to pick be and like choose, of these things by now. you know, a couple that are like, oh, yeah. I love that artist, like I like that thing. Or... But I thought, you know, because I love Hellboy, and I'm like, ah, oh, I'm sure this one's like so cool. And usually, like, you see it on the box, and it's like so painted. Like you think, like, oh no, that's just like open, open, open. Uh... No, do not put it in mouth. Do it, not. Says, it says eat oh. right on it. No, it oh. says do not eat. Oh. Be gentle. Be gentle. Ooh. Wow. That looks pretty good. It smells good? Yeah, it, it smells fine, but slightly stinky. Whoa. Ooh. I love how they do the, sh nose. the shading and the coloring and all that. This is so cool. Thank you, Ben. Hey, no problem. That's a nice sculpt. Who did the sculpting on this one? They usually put it on there. Uh, Jonathan Matthews. Hmm. Thank you, Jonathan Matthews. It's really nice. So, and if you want one of these, guess what? They're available at 3D Retro. Hey! So, there you I go. like this little... I didn't even see this. Yeah, that's really... Yes, the bangerang. Banger, bangerang. Ru that's so Rufus. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, it's really cool the way they did the painting with the like blocky style. Yeah, I can't get over his face. I wasn't a fan of the one that Mondo did the painting. I didn't think they captured the look of the character very well. I didn't think the painting captured the look of the Hellboy. Yeah, the drawing like it just didn't work. But this looks really nice. Yeah, I love his feet. Look at the feet. It's really well made. And the way the cape sits at the bottom. It's really yeah. cool. It's nice, a really cool design. Nice base and everything. So the cape is nice and flat in the back. Like it gives it, it's totally like a comic book style, which I like. Yeah. So. This is a very good addition to the black and white line. Yeah. Agreed. So. Thank you so there much. There it is. If you guys like the Batman. I like the way the cape falls down like a waterfall. It's like just making a pool of cape. A pool of cape. Right? Maybe that's just me. Thanks so. so much, we, oh, no problem. So we've opened up a few hot toys. Oh, are we starting with that? I thought we were going to... Wait, should we start with this one? Uh, yeah. Why is not? that okay? Yeah, I let's do it that. it could be fun. So this is the Age of Ultron Artist Mix Series. Yes. And the artist, by chance, is a friend of ours. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. It's Toma. Ah, Toma. Toma. So um, I love Captain America. You do? I do. I love Captain America. So I got the Captain America one. Um, these are available at um, Sideshow if they're still available. Stop it. And Show the image on the inside. Oh, we're I thought you were it. showing the. I thought you were like, look, I covered it here. You can't look at it. <laughs> that was already there. So um, he did a whole line. So there's actually seven yes. sort of versions. They're five and a half inches tall. There's Captain America, uh, Iron Man, uh, Mark, whatever. Forty three. 43, there's about a million of them. The Hulkbuster, which is actually almost 8 inches tall. Yes. Mark uh, 43. 43 Battle Damaged uh, version. And that one comes with a Hulkbuster. Oh, that's right. A big, like, it's a set. duo. Then there's the Ultron Prime, the Ultron Century version A, and the Ultron Century version B. Hi. And the best part is, is they're only $40. The best Except part the is Hulkbuster. the Bobbleheads. Hulkbuster is 130 because he's big. Let's ignore that part. <laughs> I said let's ignore that part. <laughs> Look at that. They're great. I love this style. They're like... <laughs> when does he have epilepsy? <laughs> Sorry. Um, I love... I'm sure that's a licensing thing. Yeah, it's probably a licensing thing, exactly. But um, I love Toma's artwork, and I love Captain America. You do. And this is just so great. 
There's no articulation, I think. Uh, no, I think it's the all... The head is clearly articulated. Yeah, you could turn it side to side. Um, bounce it up and down. And bounce it up and down. But it's 100% Toma style, Stop. which I also love. And, you know, when you put it on your desk, some people like it's to put funny. bobbleheads on their desk. There you go. So you can go, hey, Cap, good day? Yeah, good day. Yeah, you know. There's no mention of the fact that it's a bobblehead. Um, it does say it online. It does? If you go to buy it. Okay. It does say with bobblehead. I would love to see the Hulkbuster iron head, uh, oh, bobblehead. Just a big... it's like tucked in the body and I'm sure it just kind of just kind of like, shakes yeah it just kind of shakes in the body <laughs> wow it's funny I, I, I don't know the word I can't figure out the word I've been trying to figure out the word to describe these because it's not chibi really no it's not cutesy it's just super stylized yes yeah stylized but I'm it, trying to figure out what the style is it's just Toma. so cool it's Toma style it's it's I think it's like kind of Japanese you know because that's well, Toma, Toma style uh, a little bit of anime in it. Mm. Oh yeah. You know? Okay. So, yeah, it's it's different, and which is why I like it. I like. I think it's cool versions of the characters. Yeah. And I also like that Cap's paint is sort of sort of flat and matte, and then the shield is like shiny. Blah, shiny. Yeah, it's great. Look at me. So they still might be available. The five and a half inch versions are forty dollars each, but the Hulkbuster. Of course, the set I think is 130. So, but here's the question: Should they buy it? Yes, yes. Captain says yes. There you go. So done. So another thing okay, now I like. I don't know if you guys knew, like. but there is a movie that I really like, and it's called Back to the Future. Have Never you heard have of you it. guys heard of that is film? It, no. Should I watch it? Is, is it, it on new? Netflix? Like when did it come out? It it came out 30 years ago. Hmm. Yeah, so it's... I wasn't born yet, so I missed it. Yeah, okay. same here. <laughs> you weren't born yet. You're a liar. Um, so, finally, for us Back to the Future fans, oh, uh, this is what I've been waiting for. Your whole life. My whole life, right there. Marty McFly Hot Toys. Ah. So let's see how it looks. Uh, Have you opened it yet? Um... We've opened one for the store. Okay, so you ha you know. So I know that it looks. All right, so this is incredible. of course from Hot Toys. It's a one six scale articulated figure. It's got interchangeable hands. It's got a ton of accessories, and this particular figure goes for two hundred and twenty five bucks. Available at three D Retro and yep. you know places like Sideshow. This um, is very exciting. Oh, this is so cool. So the thing is, when we when we put it out in the store, we don't put like everything out because it comes with so many things. How could you? <gasps> Look at his outfit. It's so, amazing. So check it out. First of all, comes with a little camera. Yes. Nice. A little camera. 80s style on the shoulder. Comes with his backpack. <gasps> you can put the camera in there. Comes with his headphone set. Ah. Save the clock tower um, little flyer and skateboard. That his is purple so one. That is cool. Because you know the part two version is going to come you with a hoverboard. You should drive down the street and do like a perspective shot in front of Burger King. I could do that. You should totally do that. Also, If you guys don't know, the actual 3D retro location in Glendale, California is mere blocks from, from the opening scene of Back to the Future where he's on the skateboard and hitches a ride on the truck out of Burger King. That's that right. That Burger King is still there in front of Toys it's, R Us. Yeah, and the Toys R Us is still there. Yeah. It's in the it's Different in the sign on Toys R Us though. And of course he's got his <gasps> shades. Oh man. Oh. So now the of course the grand dun, dun, dun. Oh Marty. Look at that. Wow. It's so well sculpted. I'm gonna let you take the plastics off. All this right. backpack is pretty amazing. What's he? Ooh, it's light. <sighs> Smells good. So. Oh, you can't two strap it. No, you can. It, oh, you it's can. It's just strapped together right there. It's a you gotta one strap it, bro. Not, I'm gonna two strap. Everybody's two strapping it. Not back it. then. That was a two strap time. I was quoting something else. I know. So here's here's the thing, which I just noticed, and I gotta I gotta check the movie, but the shoes that he wore, did they have the Nike logo on it? I think so. Probably. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure they couldn't get the logo. Right? Probably oh. couldn't get licensing to approve that. So no Nike logo on the shoes, but the shoes have the colors, which is the white and red, which is fine. 
trust me, it's minuscule compared to everything else. But he's got his vest, his shirt. This is incredible. He's got his pins on his vest. What? Let me see. It's pretty well detailed. This is amazing. I know. Like the little working zippers, the little patches and sewing details. That's fantastic. It's really good. They literally made a backpack. They made a mini backpack. I actually like his face quite a bit. But then again, who doesn't like Michael J. Fox's face? <laughs> if you don't, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. All so, right, so you get like eight pairs of hands or something ridiculous. Yeah, because he can hold the camcorder. He could. Yeah, he could um, hold the camcorder. He could um, do the pose with the watch. He could um, skate. You know, have a pose for skateboarding. It's got everything. And yeah. Back to the Future fans totally deserve this. Thank you, Hot Toys. Thank you so much. So, as a major Back to the Future fan. Oh, this is this is like the creme de la creme. Ten. Ten. This is a ten. Like you can't get any better than a hot toys figure. So I thought you were gonna be like eleven. Uh, cranking up to eleven. <laughs> um but yeah, it's like aside from getting somebody to actually sculpt you a Marty McFly or a Doc Brown or something like that. Or hire a Michael J. Fox to come sit in your house. Right. Forever. And ever. That's not creepy at all, Ben. Not creepy. Um, <laughs> like, this is this is awesome. This is amazing. It's a great figure. The, the clothing is amazing. For some reason, I thought he came with, like, two outfits. I guess it's sort of just the layers of there the is, one outfit. So there is a deluxe version. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the deluxe version, which is, I think, a, um, exclusive to Sideshow, mm -hmm. uh, it probably comes with a couple more things. Oh, okay. But this How is could the you need more things. I know. This is the retail version and How did you not get the deluxe version? Cuz I'm happy with the retail. <laughs> this is I mean, this alone. I mean, look how much stuff it comes with. This You're is checking out his butt. What? You just totally checked out his butt. I, yeah. <laughs> like Let me you see the didn't. little clock tower thing? The little flyer. Is it actually paper or is it a little? I think of yeah, I think it's a piece of paper. You could put his glasses like in his pockets. He has so many pockets. It's, it's a piece of paper on the back, and too. then on the back it says, Jennifer's "I love you." Phone number. But it should have been blue. Oh. You fucked up, Hot Toys. Because <laughs> the one in the movie was blue, right? Was right. It? Yeah, it was blue. The flyer. The flyer was like a blue, but it's okay. So eight and a half by eleven. Yeah, I guess that's right. Yeah, it's acceptable. It's to scale. So, yeah. The for, likeness is pretty darn good on this. The watch is right there, the Casio. So you can put the watch on him and do the little pose. It's pretty amazing. Got it. Pretty incredible. You're going to get that and turn it into a little Alex P. Keaton? <laughs> Dude, that would be amazing. So, there's that. I've had a small obsession with Michael J. Fox in the 80s. Who didn't? I mean, There might be a few people. Mm -hmm. Secret of my success, anyone? Where's my hot toy secret of my success figure? You can, it's right, you right can there. Have, you can Change have George Team totally Wolf. customize this. I'm going to need like four of them, though, because I need every version of Michael J. Fox. They're going to release probably every version. That's really cool. So this is amazing. That's a good thing. And so I got that in, you know, and like I said, these are available also 3D Retro. And then I'm like, oh, wow, that's amazing. And then we also got... It's a big shipping day for you. We also got this in. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Did you hear that thud? And I'm like, okay... If you thought that the Michael J. Fox figure was amazing, wait until you see this. Holy moly. And this is the Guardians of the Galaxy, Rocket, Raccoon, and Groot. Uh, Two-pack. This is a 1-6 scale figure, of course, articulated with interchangeable arms for both of the characters, plus a ton of accessories. A for Groot, maybe. Two different faces for Groot. There's, like, the angry attacking face and the... I am Groot face. That's it. 
But uh, this dual pack sells for three hundred and sixty dollars. Oh my gosh! This is the episode of things no one can afford. <laughs> and what are you talking about? You can afford the forty dollar Thomas. Yeah, totally. It's a variety. Rocks. But this, it, there's one thing that comes in here which you're gonna love, George. He's and right there here. it is. That's oh, it. Oh, you love it. That's the one thing that I knew George would love. It's a one six scale. Baby group. I want to see that rocket. Oh, he's got real. So whiskers. we've opened with you. We've opened your um, Gamora, Star Lord. Yep. Gamora, and a larger scale baby group. Yes. And we were thinking, like, why won't they make a one six scale? Because it came with this. Because it comes with this set. Oh, look at you, rocket! You're amazing. Look at his little rocket feet. I wonder. Oh my God. You guys ready for this? I am Groot. I wonder if he has the scars on his back. That's what I was wondering myself, but then I was like, oh, how am I ever going to check on that? I wonder if I could feel it. So, this is, you're going to appreciate this, George. Look how the face comes off. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then there should be the other one in there. Yeah. So, it's like pegs. You don't have to, like, it, there's no, like, is ball joint. No, it just... Oh, okay. holds, holds in and you've got like the attacking angry Groot completely articulated there's a hand in there that's right here yep which is like for like when he releases the magical star beam things that he did I don't, I don't spoiler know spoiler alert yeah well if you you've haven't seen, seen the movie it. come on but it's so freaking cool there's no way for me to check about the scars, but I'm going to guess no, because it seems like it's probably a standard yeah, I think. body under there, but I don't think you can get this. Oh, that's weird. Their Hold hands are bendy fingers. Look at that group. Look like at Gumby him. style. Look at Rocket's face. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's amazing. So, the only one that I'm missing is Drax, and I haven't seen anything from Hot Toys that they're going to make it. Oh, they have to. They, they have, have to. to. You have to. Like, look at this. Like, <gasps> these little Groot. extra articulated pieces, just so they can cover the joint spots. Uh huh. But they're like little articulated. Because you can move them around in all kinds of ways. Yeah, when you pose them, you want to be able to move his thing. So they make these That's little. Pretty smart. Yeah. All the little vines, like, twisting in and out of the branches. So perfect. And, like, not even Sculpting. just twisting. So Here's a little cool. twig. Just like sticking out perfectly. Seriously, guys, like if you're fans of Guardians of the Galaxy, if you like these characters, like. This is gorgeous. This is, th this is like an art piece for mass produced toys. And even then, I, you know, I don't even know how many they make, but it's so awesome. I think there was. Is there a number on the box? Somewhere? Oh, he's holding a baby group. <laughs> I can't see you. Those feet are like out of control. Amazing. We are Groot. Look at his Groot butt. Groot butt. Oh, so awesome. And I love the pose that they have online. It's like him with the like attack face and rockets on his shoulder. Oh, yeah. With the gun. And it's just like, it's so cool. There's so much detail in the sculpting. Not wow. That's a big gun. The gun's pretty badass, too. I mean, regular Hot Toys, like the Marty McFly and things like that, amazing. They do an incredible job with likenesses, yeah. as we've talked about before. But I don't know if people realize how much sculpting goes into something like both Rocket and Groot, because Rocket is covered in fur. Now, granted, he has a lot of outfit covering him, but doing a whole head, arms, feet, tail, all of fur, that's, that's a challenge yeah. to capture that. And then to get wood grain all over and not just like sloppy Root. wood grain like really texture wood texture yeah like take the time to actually like because you know you see some figures where it's like all you have to do is just look at like the main toys r us or target toys where they mm -hmm. sculpt in the wood and it's just like it's good but it's like nothing like the detail of this he seems big is he big i guess no. that's right no that's just he's when he's scale. on the shoulder in the movie, he seems a lot smaller. I think he's Because hunched. he bends his knees. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. So, there you have it, guys. Very cool. Expensive, but I think worth it.
It's it's a different class of toy. You know? Yeah, exactly. We call it toys. It's from a company called Hot Toy. Like, but it. Yeah. It's it's not the twenty dollar toy you buy at Toys R Us. Definitely. It's do a collector's I, piece. Do I wish these were available at Toys R Us? Would you buy them if they were at Toys R Us? No, oh, because I can buy it when it's not a Toys R Us. Like it being at Toys R Us makes you no difference. You mean the cheaper or being a cheaper version, or do you just mean like if it were? A if Toys the, R Us? no, they were just available at Toys R Us for this price. Like if they had a hot toy, as I they would never sell a toy. Like people, yeah, people don't just go. Oh, I, I people didn't. People that go to Toys R Us are not dropping three hundred dollars on it. That's true. Figure. That's why you can buy them at three D Retro. Perfect, right down the street from Toys R Us. There you go. Make a day of it. Why don't you? Let's in, do in that. In Glendale, California. These feet so are massive. Wild. So one last thing, which There's more? I'm pretty sure you can all afford. I remember how we were talking about there's certain pop <gasps> vinyl that you need to get. Did you just find a pop <laughs> vinyl, a Funko product that Aileen is going to have? I what have is a that? Couple pops. I like oh, it was, it was reaction that you were kept yeah, making fun any, of me because I'm the only one that has those. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is it's it? Gus Gus. It's Gus Gus. What's I a, haven't even seen the new what's movie. What's a Gus Gus? What? It's the cutest mouse ever in Cinderella. Gus Gus. <laughs> I thought Gus Gus was the fat one. He Gus Gus. Very fat. Well, he's fat in the old one. I don't know what he looks like in the new. I think he's still. Movie. Oh, let's look at him. So, you know, pop vinyl. These go for under $10. Happy Where, George. Oh. <laughs> now they... And wow, it comes in that. the slipper. Which is pretty cool. My inner... You can take him out! <laughs> it's such a big head <laughs> that he doesn't even stand. That's awesome that you don't need this. I'm sure he probably would stand on a flat on surface. On a flat surface. This oh, is maybe. A, this is a soft table. Well, his three points, though, don't are kind of... His head is pretty... Miss appropriate. Oh, it's, wow. It looks like it's heavy, but here, let me try it on. Oh no, it fits. <laughs> I'm Cinderella. No, okay. <laughs> so you just need to get him a little base from the Star Trek thing. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Put him on there. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Oh, Gus Gus on a base. Oh. On a oh. Locked him off his base. I think he looks better in the in the slipper anyway. This is pretty cool. I gotta give it. To you know, you, like for a figure that's. Once again, under $10. It's a great way to own something from this yeah, movie. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, it's also kind of funny because, you know, I, uh, in the theaters out by us, we have these theaters called Arclight. Yep. And we have Disneyland. Mm -hmm. And these places have things on display from movies a lot of the time. And one of the things they had on display for a really long time was one was of the glass slippers. From the movie, wow. From the movie. So I would walk in there all the time and be like, oh, that's cool, the glass slipper from... Cinderella, but you know, I'm never gonna buy a like, you know, a two or three hundred dollar replica of the slipper or something. But like, that's this so is, cute. This is, if not better, it so, might be better because it's got a Gus Gus in it. So going back to the whole thing, like, I know we always like make fun of pop vinyl because it's not really vinyl collectible figures, and they have every license on the planet. See, I don't make fun of them because of that. I mean, I think it's just a mass produced. It is. That's all thing. it is. Like it's just which it's is what keeps the price down, makes it affordable, and yeah, if if there's figures that, you know, like I'm guilty. I bought the Back to the Future figures. Guilty. So don't be guilty. I'm not guilty. So you yeah, it's it. like if you have a favorite, then go for it. Why not? Like now he's Exorcist Gus Gus. Whoa. Whoa. Head turns all the way around. That's cool. Very creative use of the slipper as the base and everything. Yeah. I mean, this could be in the movie. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. So there it is. Very cool. Yeah. Thanks, Ben. Hey, no problem. I got a Gus Gus. <laughs> all right. Are we good? George, anything to say? Nope. You're happy? Happy with all the Hot Toys action? I'll have some reaction figures for George later. We can get George's reaction. Oh, of his reaction toys. Oh, Re-reaction. Oh, he has different feet. Yeah, there's like standing up on the. So when he's probably on his like bent. Oh, interesting. Oh. So it's not just a flat foot. Man, they do. They Hot think toys of everything. Is amazing with their interchangeable accessories. Yeah. 
But they think of everything like, oh, we gotta have different feet to balance him out when he's standing like that. Yeah, because they, they're like, these are the poses he needs to be in. I How love going fun? online, finding the pictures, and like trying to match them. Yeah? And like yeah. doing a good pose. Yeah. Like I have my Avenger figures, like Captain America's like on one knee shooting a gun with his... You should post fi uh, pictures on Instagram. Mm. I should you should be that. like, guess what I did tonight? Got him in the pose. Hulk, Hulk, I had to put on one knee, like, smashing, because if I had him, like, standing, standing up. up, it doesn't fit in the case. <laughs> that makes so. sense. All right, well, shall <sighs> we on to uh, this week in Amazon purchases? Ooh. We're still doing that? Is that a thing? I thought yeah. you wanted to do it. Let's do it. All right, we got some DC collectibles Batman Lil Gotham. Ooh. Awesome. Very Low. cool. Well, anything with a Lil in it's good. A little. Fisher-Price Loving Family Bathroom. What is that? It's a fish price toy. So <laughs> is it a toy? It's a loving family bathroom, George. How about Swimways Gobble Gobble Guppies? I bet if you stay tuned, you can see more about that particular toy. Oh, really? Coming up. <laughs> really? Swimways Gobble Gobble Guppies? Yep. Is that a game or what? It's something Leo should know about. Oh, okay. Actually, he probably already knows about it before you. How does he know these things? Kids, they know everything. <sighs> Damn kids. <laughs> He's already ordering off Amazon? It's so easy. He's like a month old. He's already see, He just goes to toybreak.com. <laughs> well, already got an iPhone. It's done. Just go to Toy Break, click the link, and you're done. Leo's like, done. I got it. Gobble, gobble, guppies. <laughs> it's his favorite thing now. <laughs> All right, so thank you, everybody, who's been doing that. And uh, remember, if you go support the show by shopping on Amazon, you just click the link on Toy Break or go to amazon.toybreak.com. takes you to the Amazon site. Do your shopping as normal. Uh, if you buy a toy, maybe we'll get to mention it. Hmm. And you could be like, that was the thing I bought! That thing over there. <laughs> yep. Um, oh, also, I should tell everybody what I've been doing. What have you been doing? So, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know. Or Facebook. Oh, I know what um, you've been doing. But feel free to follow me if you haven't been and you're interested. I started a little Ewok August, hashtag Ewok August project. <laughs> and uh, I'm posting pictures of Ewoks and Ewok products every day in August. Nice. So it's all stuff I have, just fun pictures. It's just a fun... Will you have to enough to something. fill an entire month? I could probably fill a really? year. I really? Are you I'm, kidding me? I'm, I'm watching, so... <laughs> Are you yeah. learning? I'm... A couple of things. I'm like, oh. Well, just wait. There's still. That. We're only a few days. Like, there's still more time. Let's August. do it. Plenty more time. Jump on Ewok August. I've already had a few friends that I actually didn't know were in, as into Ewoks, and they started jumping on Ewok August. George, so. what are you gonna do on Instagram? I'm not in Instagram. What? You can follow me on Twitter though at George Gatsby. Nah, nobody's oh, on Twitter nice. anymore. I'm on Twitter. I'm oh. On Twitter. It's still good. <laughs> still good. Yeah. Maybe you could follow us and watch some pictures from some of these upcoming events. Ah. Why is George giving him a sick heil? Oh, a high five. Oh, is that what it was? He's not down here, like... <laughs> oh, now, now it's okay. And I think it's that arm, isn't it? <laughs> Don't... Come on, Ben. You're supposed <laughs> to know these things. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, what All events right. are we talking about? Good question, Ben. Thanks for taking us back. Uh, D23 Expo Yay! is coming up. You can come celebrate everything Disney at the Anaheim Convention Center in Anaheim, California, August 14th to 16th, D23.com. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you can get tickets and find out more about the show. And uh, I know I'm going to be there on Friday. George may be there on Friday. Ben may be there. Should be fun. And by everything Disney, we mean like Marvel... Star Wars. Never heard of it. Regular Disney. Regular Disney. Everything. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. Star Trek? I don't think they no, own Star Trek. No. Pretty sure that they don't. That's no, the that's, one thing they don't own yet. That's the CBS Muppets? Expo. Muppets. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait. They do yeah. own oh, wait, they do own Mu yeah, <laughs> yeah. Muppets. Yeah, Muppets. Wow. They do own Muppets. Oh. Crazy, right? Insane. Disney. And... Right after that, San Jose Super Toy and Comic Book Show, 250 tables of vintage to modern toys, comics, and collectibles mm. at the Santa Clara County Fairgrounds in San Jose, California, August 29th and 30th, timetunnelnews.blogspot.com for more info. Uh, we probably will not be at that show this year, but we have been in the past, and it's a mm. great show. You know, it's a big, you know, 
uh, flea market style. I nice. like that show. It's a good show. Yeah, it's they fun. had good stuff there. We well, got some great things. It's a lot of vendors. Yeah. You're bound to find something that you like. And it's kind of swap meat style, so you know you can you can maybe haggle a little, mm. find some a lot of old things, get some deals. Get a deal. Get a deal. Mostly just even finding the things. You know, it's like live eBay. It's for, what? Live eBay. Back in the day, we used to not have eBay, so we had to get together in spaces and sell each other our stuff. Like interact with Sounds actual terrible. people. <laughs> Sounds terrible. <laughs> Well, my dearest friends, that is it for episode 366. Don't forget, you can check the show notes at toybreak.com for links to pretty much everything we've been talking about. You can watch past episodes. Who knows about... Well, you can definitely watch all the past episodes at toybreak.com. Mm -hmm. Even one through 150. Wow. You can join in the contests and discussions on the forum. You can support the show by shopping on Amazon. Just click the link before you do. You can call and leave us a voicemail. 818 Am I Good? Just like Eat More Toys did. You can email us info at toybreak.com. You can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. You can check out our toy briefs, toy girls, and full episodes at youtube.com slash toybreak. I'll come back to that in a minute, actually. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter and all the social networks at Toy Break. You can follow me on everything at Alien Gaspar. At George Gaspar. And at 3D Retro. Perfect. Uh, I want to do it back to our channel real quick. Because you can watch Toy Brief Toy Girls and full episodes of Toy Break at YouTube.com slash Toy Break. You can also watch, uh, there's a new show, a new break being added to the Toy Break show. And you can also subscribe to Brick Break, which is on its own separate channel. So if you're... Because a lot of people like to focus on Lego, so it's kind of its own thing if you want to mm -hmm. jump onto that. We have more episodes Subscribe, won't you? We also just opened all the Comic-Con exclusive Lego sets and built those, Ooh. so you might want to go check that out. Uh, but we also have some news. News? Game Break. That is not the news. No, the wrong news. Couch funded. Couch funded. So come watch it. What is it? What's going on? Uh, it's where we talk about uh, crowdfunding campaigns, uh -huh. and where we talk about ones that are coming up, uh -huh. ones that we'd like to support, uh -huh. want to help spread the word, uh -huh. and also where we review products that come in. Sweet. From past campaigns. Yeah. So, things that might not be toy related. Oh. But they are cool or things that we like. So you could go to YouTube, youtube.com slash couchfunded. Yes. You can subscribe. Please do so. You can watch the first two episodes. Uh, there might be three by the time you're watching this. Wow. 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 Wowzer. Watch it. You'll like it. Get a third one going. Thanks, Christopher Walken. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anybody have anything else to add? Nope. Well, then, you guys, we will see you next week. Same toy time, same toy channel. Bye!